the fan film retrospective is proceeding in the editing bay. It's a little, you know, a little more involved than I thought it was going to be, but it's, it's going along. Maybe, you know, today or tomorrow I should be up. Okay. That's the thing about this uh, Kurtzman is he or isn't he fired type of thing. Uh, few things to unpack here. In the technical legal sense, yeah, fired is a loaded term. In this case, fired means CBS pulled the pulled the big trigger, bought out his contract, and just told him get out of here, don't come back. Now, yeah, let's point out this does kind of complicate things a bit. With it. he has other shows with CBS, Hawaii Five O, and again, so he's you know they can't completely bar him from the network, but they can you know they still got authority with Star Trek. They can no, you're no longer doing this. So it's and again, most of the people are saying we're not saying fired, fired. We're saying he's no longer in charge of this show, and that is well within the authority of, you know of CBS as far as you know control of their pro. It's their property. It's not Kurtzman's, and they can you know again. And there's been moves. A lot of the moves are indicating that they are chipping away at his authority to do whatever the hell he wants with it by bringing in Van Sitters as brand management and bringing in the you know. Uh, Veronica Hart is, you know, this for uh, the global group. Or it's because originally when that contract, none of this was necessary because Hertzman was doing to do it all. And then very shortly thereafter, it's like suddenly when the things are really going off the rails, you start bringing these other officers getting, you know, other, you know, facilities coming in to take over parts of it. And again, these people do not answer to Kurtzman. Which would be the case if he was still the grand poo ball with us. They answer to CBS. And I say again that uh, the brand, the global brand thing being located inside, uh, where they're operating within the, the hidden, you know, the secret hideout offices, that's not their answer. That's them keeping an eye on Kurtzman. You know? Again, they don't answer to him. They're renting office space from him, but they don't answer to him, okay? They answer, she answers the head of CBS. That's going weird. I'm here. But again, they, you know, because, you know, the big, you know, contract. Yeah, he's got a contract. That means they got to pay him. That doesn't mean they got to listen to what he says or, le or let him do it. Okay. Because they do have ultimate authority on this. That's the way contracts are working. You think Kurtzman's going to get a contract that's going to com completely over on CBS? I don't think so. He may have a good lawyer and a good a good agent, but uh, CBS has, has an army of them. Okay, and they've been at this for a while. They have, you know, they do not they do not handle rebellions very easily. They look at this, you know, cast of CSI. There are people are you know fired like the you know, because they were late for work one day. Cast members, major cast members, you know, George Eads and Georgia Fox were both you know were fired from that show early on. And they they buckled down real quick to get the jaws back. And uh, Blue Bloods, uh, one gal's now over on CSI. Remember, she you know was uh, fairly prominent on uh, on Blue Bloods for a while. Apparently, she uh, she got celiac disease, but the network didn't bite. Thought she was gold. Even the producer of the show, I mean, you know, Danny Wahlberg and that thing sounds like oh, broke both going to bat for her. Didn't work. So yeah. CBS and lower the hammer, they lower the hammer. Yeah. And if they decided that this is a vote of no confidence in Kurtzman, and uh, you know they're watching all these all these videos and the, and the editorials going up. On the side of saying, is he fired? And saying, yeah, there is jubilation going on that he's, fi that he's gone, that he's no longer in charge, okay? Like I said, it's like the Dodgers are coming back to Brooklyn, you know? The other side, all the only joy they've got is the, is trying to prove us wrong. That's it. Nobody is celebrating that he's in charge, okay? Because they know what means that he's in charge it means more of this, you know, continual shit show. But the news that he might be fired, everyone's going nuts. And you know, yes, please let him be gone. Burn the witch, okay? That speaks volumes to CBS. Say, look, we got a vote of no confidence in the fan base here. Nobody wants anything to do with anything he's in charge of. So while yes, they may be saddled with him as far as you know having to pay him a contract, they do not have to have him let him have any real authority over anything. 
And again, the source that everyone keeps trying to... Uh, he said he's not giving up the title. Okay, fine. But he's, you know, but they can certainly bar him from the lot. They can, you know, they can, you know, put others in charge under him that take over the full authority of running the show where he has no input and still be in the contract and still technically be employed and all that. That's a lot of people don't understand. He can make all the five-year plans he wants. CBS is under no obligation to follow them. It's not that hot. The cat's been a drama queen. So like I say, you know, for those of you trying to think about what you're defending here for a second. The only thing you were trying to do is trying to stick it to Midnight's Edge and Nerd Roddick and other guys who are saying that he, he's probably gone. Because, and, um, and uh, there's one, I saw one article, trying to think, said, he has no inside information, but he just doesn't like, you know, Gary, I guess, you know? And he's got a contract. We saw the interview with the plant. We don't know when that interview was done. That deadline part that was hanging the hat on? We have no, no clue when that interview was actually done. And it was not done the day before. Okay, I guarantee you. Yeah. It was done a few weeks ago, okay? And they've the fact that they suddenly roll this out with the, the day after all the, the news break and that he may be gone. This has got spin written all over it. They're trying to quell a rebellion in the fan base, okay? And it ain't working. Because we've also learned not to trust network executives in their spin. Because they've already made quite abundantly clear these people will lie their asses off to protect, protect their, their own. Especially when it comes to anyone from JJ's side. They openly lied to us on, on what that uh, out in the darkness. That's something you don't do to your audience. You never do that. You can mislead them. You can be a little evasive. But when you out and out lie to them, you betray the trust that the audience has in the producers that, that we're going to like what you got. We trust what, what you're doing with, our, with our, uh, the object of our, of our affection here. You blow that trust and you've blown it. Because hmm? we no longer trust a word you say. And it doesn't matter if, if you prove it, you know, nine times out of hundred. There's still that one time you screwed up. So I think right now, again, it'll still be young executive producer Alex Kurtzman on, on everything. Yeah, it doesn't mean he had a damn thing to do with it. No. So, think on that for a bit, guys, you know? Think about why what is happening is happening. Why the reaction is going the way it's going. And whatever side you're on, why are you reacting that way? You know? If you're celebrating Kurtzman possibly being gone, yeah, it's like... It's because you've had it up to here with this with his bullshit, you know. If you're trying to stick it to it, you know, like you're saying, no, he's not, he's got a contract. Why are you defending that? Why can you why are you possibly defending this man who is urinated all over the franchise? Every franchise he's been on, frankly, he's crapped all over and ruined. He pretty much, you know, killed off the Spider-Man franchise of Sony single-handedly. Really before it even got going. I think, you know, I think the Universal thing, <laughs> one movie and done. Blew up like a like a big old turd sandwich. And the amazing thing is why he still still keeps getting hired. Okay. I mean, suddenly now JJ keeps planting people all over Hollywood and they're, you know, like little pod people there, which again does not, you know, provide a lot of confidence for this, you know, gal he he's got planned up at Lucasfilm. And probably he's got his kid you know, he's got his kid over at uh Warner Brothers or DC. You know? Look into that, but it's like what the hell? It makes you wonder what's gonna happen when uh, the axe comes for JJ finally and they figure out what he's up to. Anyway, that's my thoughts on a Sunday morning with a uh, cranky cat. Nope. Hopefully I'll be able to get that, the big one up uh, 
later today if or tomorrow. PayPal, Patreon, especially PayPal right now, because one of the reasons why it's getting cranky is I don't have a gas to run the air conditioner. <laughs> I got, I'm below, I'm like about an eighth of a tank right now, so I really can't go anywhere. <laughs> then whoever went over to Starbucks and him and the vet clinic where he can stay nice and cool. They don't open until 10. It's a Sunday. Get back here. Get back here, you. Hush. Oh, hush you. So, so right now, about 20 bucks would do wonders right now in the PayPal. So, link down below, and we will talk at you later. Thank you.